Alright YouTubers, what's going on? Another one. This is my little beginner series. Now we've got a lot of new people. We've got absolute shit ton of new people that are signing up to the forum, Facebook's, my YouTube channel, Daniel's, everyone's YouTube channel. Um, as a result from all the advertising and stuff lately. And I thought I'd address a very recurring issue. And that is fake cells. Now we've had a lot of people ask, are these 9,000 milliamp hour cells real? No, they're not. They are cheap shit and you shouldn't even buy them. They are crap. They will burn your house down. And we should, nobody in this community should for one second accept that that sort of crap advertising is acceptable. Um, I'm not one for taking a stand for things like that because it takes too much time and energy, let's face it. But if we can get educated and just plain stop buying them, these bastards will stop making money and stop ripping people off. And we might have given a bit, a bit better name to our industry. So I'm, I'm willing to bet that some of the burn your house down comments are the, from the fake batteries. So I haven't got any fake batteries here. I'm not going to go and buy any. Anything with 3,400 milliamp hours or above that's listed on eBay, 5,000, 6,000, 7,000, 9,000, oh shit, I think there's 12,000 milliamp hour cells out there somewhere. It's just a sticker. It's like putting a sticker on me and saying, hot Asian chick. Are you going to believe that? You can if you want. Right. There's a, there's another side to this. There is another side to this. You can also get fake, se Blech. fake cells in, like, laptop batteries. So, that there is a fake cell. That, well, it's not fake as in it's remanufactured or it's not OEM. Does that make sense? So it stands to reason. Now let's have a look. Let's see how organized I am. Okay, so those two, the bottom one is genuine and the top one is not. Now how do you tell, up, apart from common sense and it doesn't have any manufactured information on there at all, how do you work out which one's which? Well, there's, there's, there's an easy way. And there's another one. Um, now that one's got 12 cells in it or something. Again, rechargeable battery written on it, completely generic. Um, it's stating that it's 8,800 milliamp hours. I'm probably going to have to do maths to sort that shit out. We might not go there, but that's saying that's 8,800 milliamp hours. What's this one? We'll do this one because it's going to be easy. That's saying it's 4,400 milliamp hours. So if we crack this one open, and I've already sort of started this process, so, you know, this is not the... Oh, crap, got myself in the face. Um, where's my gloves when I need them? Right, there they are. So they are non-OEM cells. Now let's see how lying they are. Let's see if we can find one, these on the cell database, and two, see if you can run a few basic tests in order to find out whether these cells are proper or not. And we're going to have to clean them off pretty good. Now, I'm not going to sit here and pretend to know every single weight of um, all these cells. And there is this, I think there's videos out there that tell you the specific weight and stuff of cells. But I'm going to show you a really simple way of working out whether these are dodgy cells or not. And you can use a set of scales. So I stole these from, stole these from my wife earlier. And that's saying 45 grams. Let's grab a cell that we know is good. Throw it on there. And that says 48 grams. I'll take photos of that later. So they're lighter. Now, the second test you can do if you don't have a set of sales is this. They don't sound right. Grab two real cells. They don't sound as hollow. So that is a bloody brilliant way of telling it. And you can pick them up and I know that's only a few grams difference, but you can feel the difference between the two cells. So I'm not saying this is a fake cell because it's probably not branded 5,000 or 6,000 or 10,000 milliamp hours. But what I'm trying to show you is a really simple way of working out good from bad, evil from good, whatever. So let's crack a couple of these open 
it's not going to do much good to actually charge them and discharge them but what we can do is try and find some information on the old interwebs out about what they are and that sort of capacity sort of stuff I guess let's get googling actually we're not going to google we're just going to go to my forum that's going to work a lot easier <laughs> Okay, so the cell itself is a nice baby blue colour, and it's ASO space HJ21123EH space 821149, and then it's got the barcode underneath it, and then it's got SZN. So let's have a look online and see what we can find out about this cell. Okay, we head on over to the DIY Powerwalls forum, we click on Cell Database. And we have this prepared earlier, so I can just cut and paste. Now I'm just going to cut and paste like the key information, copy. I'm not going to do the whole thing because you don't know about the spaces. Okay, so you go Control F to find something, Control V to paste it in, and there's nothing. Fantastic. Mike, what have you done with the cell database? Right out. Okay, so we can't find it by any name. Let's see if we can find it by something similar. So it's baby blue, so you can hit on wrap color, and there's two arrows either side. Click on wrap color, and it sorts it out a little bit, and that makes it a little bit easier. Now, um, that one, that one there, ICR, looks clot. No, it doesn't because the writing's top and bottom. So we've got underneath SZN, underneath the, um, underneath the barcode. Okay, so nothing there in any of our pictures or anything resembles it. As you can see here, if, if it's got a, a red cross on photos, so if I click on that, you open it up, there won't be any photos attached to it. So if you've got any photos for that, we really want some. There you can see pictures, none, please submit some. You can click that and then you can submit your photos to this um, thread and we just need one top down shot and one nice clear shot of the side. So if you can hook us up with that, that would also be fantastic. Rightio, so searching the, the, um, the database didn't help, so let's go to Google, Control V, Enter. Nothing. Um, that's a bit of a letdown. So there's no information on that at all. Let's try the last couple of letters. Copy, Control V. Got a couple of things there. Maybe we can go images. Right, yeah, let's try the whole thing, I guess. Copy. Nothing at all there. So ASO, um, maybe 18650 battery. And of course, that, that that's far too generic. Let's see if we can go to a, a competitor and see if we can find anything. Well, that's interesting. That that resembles the same sort of layer, the layout there, budgetlightforum.com or something I, I've just found. Um, it's got the SZN, and, um, SZN underneath and ASO above. It's got a, num a space with a number then a space. So they actually look like it. And in his description, he says he's been ripped off. He thinks he's been ripped off. Um, new off-brand laptop backs from Amazon. So it does look like a standard thing with these cells and they're just... Um, they're not advertised as fake cells, but certainly there's not enough information to actually find out whether or not they have the capacity as rated. You know, something like this says um, 6,600 milliamp hours just there. And we've got no way of working out what the cells are originally. So, And these are all old cells, so I haven't bothered wasting any time trying to to pull them apart and test them and do some you know some more epic time lapses but there there's another one and there's another one there and I don't even bother opening these if I see that and I'm buying cells I'll take them out and I'll just give them straight back to the recycle because they're certainly not something anybody should be interested in and that's certainly something that I, I'm not interested in if you guys want to go down that route you're more than welcome to but remember the test tap them together if they sound hollow you know try a couple of different cells and see what they sound like anyway tubers as always thanks for tuning in and remember hot asian chick yeah i just did an average joe did it poorly but anyway see ya